Right, right now, you have a right there, have a shy, Kyle, you have a bunch of shy, but I on a Dutch. Still went on to the elder apostle, great milk for woo will, and see the citation that I can put to the truth across the four corners of the earth to the fear and power you have us now shot as a hope will let. And who the world inwardly called God, name your house, and who the world inwardly called Jesus Christ, name your house shy. For the Hebrew is the light that consists of the so called Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and those who line the Senate group battle on the twelve side of Israel, are due to the scattered amongst the nations off the four corners of the earth. All right, Mahari Kaufman, the great millstone, Los Angeles camp, back from another legend. Abernal Rathadal, Lord Roman, be edifying through the fear and power of Yahweh by Shana Shai, Mahahawa Kakadash with the Holy Spirit. All right. Now, the containing the uh, blue supermoon, okay? And uh, it's not really going into the blue, uh, it's not the blue, the moon actually being blue as opposed to like when we have the blood moon with the blue chain color to red. All right, but it's uh, significant into um, when you have more than one um, full moon, all right, and a uh, same calendar month, all right. And the key word is calendar month because Esau Edom calendar, all right, it's not according to the moon cycle, okay. In the calendar, they like, for instance, in the month of September, all right, it's 31 days in this month, but the boom cycle is like 28 point something days. So that's why I make it seem like a two full moon in one month, but it's actually two different moon cycles, all right, going through its uh, phrase. So, Look at this first since I uh, mentioned it. Change time. This is Daniel 7 25. Alright. And he shall speak great word against the Most High and shall wear out the faint of the Most High. Alright, with the, 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 the Israelites. Alright, don't call it Negro. Latino, the Native American people. Alright. This is through oppression. Okay. And think the change time in law, and the key word, the key point I want to highlight is, is the same time. Alright, in law. Alright, because uh, some of the law it dictated by the uh, lunar cycle, okay? Like keeping the Sabbath, a right, high holy day that based on the uh, uh, lunar cycle, all right? Based on the moon cycle, okay? And they shall be given into his hand until a time and a time and a divided of the time, all right? So right now, that's why I highlight the same time because and make it seem like there are two full moons in a, a calendar month, but it's not, all right? So it's the unique blue super moon to rise on Wednesday night. A weird blue super moon is set to grace the sky tonight, marking an extraordinary celestial, like a celestial event. This phenomenon combined a super moon where the full moon comes within a day of its closest point to the Earth in a blue moon. All right, because it makes it seem like it's bigger than it normally is because the um, how the moon uh, rotate in a different uh, cycle, all right? It makes it appear to be closer to Earth it's just closer, all right? It's always been the same size, but it's appeared bigger because it's closer to the Earth at that point in time of its cycle. And a blue moon, this is why it's called blue moon, which is the second full moon in a single month, all right? So, 
ったよあっ、uh, let me get this article right here. The spiritual meaning of a blue moon for ritual manifestation. Alright, then we go down here. Uh, we, when, when we live in moon instead of months, all right, because moon cycles what our customs based off of the high holy days and the Sabbath, all right, not the calendar that you thought you don't have, all right, based on the solar, um, black solar, based on the uh, sun cycle. Typically, there is only one new moon and one full moon. Okay, each month, right? The new moon represents the beginning of the moon cycle, and a full moon represents its halfway point in its cycle. Each month, totaling 12 months a year. Uh, the, I mentioned that real quick. The, uh, the Rock 39. That's 39. 43, all right, or clearly out the cusp. Uh, in verse 6, he made the moon also the third in her season for a declaration of time and a sign of the world. All right, uh, of the world uh, equate to Esau Edom. All right, rulership, aid period. Okay, we also say a season for a declaration of time. All right, so you know what time of the year you in, okay? For the moon, it's like it from the moon is a sign of peace, a light that decreases her profession, right? Because that's how you're able to tell when to keep the Sabbath, when to keep the, the high holy day, all right? Like the stock with the Passover, the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, all right, the feet, the tabernacle, all these things are, are based on our uh, on the lunar cycle that the Heavenly Father has set up for us to follow. For the moon is the sign of feet, a light that decreases in her profession. So after the full moon, guess what? It, it starts to, what's it called, waning. Then it goes back and then repeat the cycle to a, a new moon. All right, you see the little light silver crescent. All right, that's the sign of a new moon. The month is called after her name is creating wonderfully, so from a new moon to a full moon, all right? So the moon is uh, fully uh, lit up, all right? Of its round shape, all right? Which we know is the fear. Being an instrument of the army above, well, who's the army above, the angel. Shining the pyramid of heaven. All right. So I said, uh, but this is not always the case because the moon has a 29 inch day cycle while our calendar month ranges between 28 to 31 days long. And not each month are the same amount of days. Like it's there for 28, 28 and 31. Some days, some months will be 28 days, some months will be 30 days. So much 31 days. All right, because we already read in Daniel 725 how you already seek to change time. This throw the lunar cycle out of whack. All right, because the lunar cycle is still the lunar cycle. The calendar make it seem like the lunar cycle is all over the place. All right, that's why the new moon come in on, on different days of the week of the calendar. All right, like the new moon came in on a Tuesday. All right, and that's why we have our Sabbath Tuesday night to Wednesday night. All right, it's nothing wrong with the lunar cycle. It's all the the wrong of the uh, Esau Edom, all right, the Julian calendar, all right, or the Gregorian, whatever, whatever it is, it's called these days. All right, let's call it Esau calendar. In ancient times, this is what we would uh, follow. 
society follows the lunar cycle rather than the solar cycle. This means that a 12 million made months and 365 days, there were always 13 moons every year. In the year that we have a blue moon, all right, which means it just simply means an extra uh, full moon, all right, and a one uh, calendar, in a one month calendar of Ethel, all right, his calendar, okay. In the year that we have a blue moon, there are 13 moons in the year. This is how it always was, which is why a blue moon is so special, all right. And blue, uh, 13 is significant, all right, spiritual, all right. And the elite hate the number 13, all right. Then you got what, the 12th tribe of Israel, and you got the house shot. Okay, so let's go back to the scriptures. All right, because you know, I'm like I'm all over the place. But let's get back to That's not it. It's Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus says the Lord Yahweh shall try. Learn not the ways of the heathen, right, which are the actual other nations, and be not dismayed at the sign of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed. That's not right, because these people, oh, oh my God, it's a, it's a, a blue duper moon, you know, they get it all, uh, tweak out about it, but we are not to be dismayed, because those are a sign, all right, these are, uh, things for us to, uh, observe, all right, and to pay attention to for property state and to, uh, to observe that the house side is soon to come back. Okay? That's what it was because when you get into this, uh, this article right here, it said that uh, impact on natural event, the moon appearance tonight isn't just a spectacle for sky gazers, it has real world implications. Specifically, this full moon ray concerns about potentially worsening the storm surge from Hurricane Idalia, which hit Florida Gulf Coast earlier this morning. All right, because um, you have the moon cycle, all right, which um, dictate the wave tides, all right, the, the water and the ocean and stuff. All right, that's why I say somebody's lunatic because the lunar cycle, all right, it, um, uh, it, um, uh, the vibration, all right, to the water in your body, all right, which make you go lunatic, <laughs> make you go lunatic, all right, with lunatic, go back to the word lunar with the moon. The moon gravitational pull already influences the ocean tide, and a super moon amplify did the fit. So yeah, check out the movie uh, Moonfall. All right, well, that's never gonna happen. But just the fact that the moon was so close to the Earth, it caused tsunami. All right, would prove that the moon can uh, change the tide of the ocean. All right, leads to heightened high and low tide, like I just did. Forecasters are predicting storm surges of up to eight feet due to the hurricane. Okay. So, I thought that was interesting because this scripture right here, all right, Luke 21 and uh, 11. 
right? Which is part of the property of Yahweh is trying to come back, which he said himself. It's written in red. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famine and pestilences, and fearful sight, and great signs shall there be from heaven. All right? So that's part of it. Now the next one is my last trip I had to get back into work for lunch. It said, uh, Act 2 and 19, And I will show wonder in heaven above, it's right, it's in the, uh, atmosphere up in the sky, and sign in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Okay? The sun shall be turned into darkness, and we know what that's going into. But the point I'm going to read to the last part, before that great and notable day of, Lord, of the Lord come. All right, well, I want to get that other scripture where uh, Steve Warren. I got about to work. Let me get this real quick. Steve Warren. Yeah, 21 and 25. That's what I really wanted. All right. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. We're talking about the super blue moon tonight. And in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations, and that's going on, especially Africa, with perplexity, the sea and the wave worn, because the moon dictate the sea tide. All right, that it's all pointing to the indication of the house side return. And it's only going to uh, increase and get worse, all right, because these are the beginning of the thorough light. Not 24th there. Second edge chapter 15 said these are the bird pain not gonna flap for a moment. So we're heading into the bird pain where it's not gonna flap for a moment. So with that, what they show off.